Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to create and use alerts on AirVantage Management Service. We have seen in the previous tutorials how to monitor the health of your devices on AirVantage. AirVantage can also notify you when there is an issue with your systems, for instance when a system has stopped communicating, the RSSI level is too low, or when the temperature sensor input value is way too high. Alerts are triggered based on the custom alert rules defined by the users. In this tutorial, we will see how to configure a simple alert rule and how to acknowledge an alert. Alert rules are defined from the Configure activity in the Alert Rules section. Let's go there to see what it looks like. Here we can see all the alert rules created for the systems in the company and their status. We can activate, deactivate or edit the rules here. We'll now add a new alert rule by clicking on the plus button. Alert rules are defined as a when, if, then conditional relation. The value of the when trigger is threefold. You can trigger an alert when there is a change to the communication status, like when a system has stopped communicating, or when the system communicates. This is a powerful trigger as it allows you to set threshold limit on any data that your systems communicate to AirVantage. For example, when the LTE signal is less than minus 100 dB, or when the temperature goes above 50 degrees. Select your firmware or embedded application, then choose the data that you want to monitor. You can also trigger an alert when the system usage changes. For a given trigger, you can set up to two or three test conditions. If all conditions in the rule are fulfilled, the alert will be raised. Let's configure a simple rule with the COM status changes trigger. For instance, you want to be notified when a system in the group stops communicating. Create the first condition, if the communication status is error. Then create a second condition to specify the systems you want to test the first condition on. Select System. You can select one or more systems by their name or label. Here, I want to select the systems with the label Test Branch. Select Has Label, then find the desired label from the drop-down menu. If you don't select any system, the alert rule will apply to all systems in the company. Once you're done setting the test conditions, you can define the alert notification itself. Set a name as well as a description. If you decide to send an email alert to one or more recipients, check the option and enter the email address in the To field. Take a look at the email preview here. If you are satisfied with it, click on Save to create the rule. The next time one of the systems you selected stops communicating, you'll receive an email alert. The alert name will appear in the email subject. In the email's content, you'll see other information including the system's name, the company name, alert description, and a link to the system details page. Click on the link and start diagnosing the issue. In addition to the email alert, you can also find the alert in the notifier and in the monitor alerts page. Please note that the same alert will not be raised again if the first one is not acknowledged. This is to avoid flooding the user's mailbox due to a persistent situation. To acknowledge an alert, just open the notifier by clicking on it, then click on the green check. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for using AirVantage.